the uh, the first section is um, we, we were asking everyone we speak to um, is Ozzy Osbourne. As uh, shaking. Okay. Well, do you want more? No, that's that's ample. Yeah. I mean, you can if you wish. Okay. Uh, the second one. Well, and humorous, shaking, very humorous. Uh, the what would you call him? The the Godfather of metal. Okay. Okay. Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck. Oh, the very uh, introspective, the very talented, off the wall kind of guitar player. Plays things that you wouldn't expect. Sorry, that'll be me. <laughs> uh, okay, and um, uh, leasing of Spinal Tap, Mr. St. Hubbins. Wow. Uh, pretty much nailed lead singers on the nose there. Uh, especially for us guitar players. Really nailed the lead singer spot beautifully. Thank you very much for that, by the way. So do you find yourself watching that go, oh God, I know. The, oh, well, you know, the problem is, is I found myself first time through that movie kind of getting offended, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because like all everybody else, you know, geez, I did that shit, you know, I, I did that, you know, and then you got into it and then you, you, you started because now you could laugh at yourself. So it's extremely well thought out movie. Well, well cited. Okay. You guys. Uh, the next one is Keith Richards. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. There you go. A blood transfusion, apparently. Uh, pretty cool rhythm guitar riffer kind of guy. Uh, kind of a melty face. <laughs> pretty amazing character, you know. Okay, the middle one, because I've forgotten. Jimi Hendrix. Ah! Wow, Jimmy. Uh, I guess you'd have to say the guy that started it all for uh, for all of us guitar players, really. Um, he, he was, if not the starting point, he was real close to the starting point. He was the guy that sort of opened everybody's minds. Where Clapton, you know, took the blues guitar and he just made it better. Right? Uh, uh, Hendrix was the guy that shot it in a whole nother direction and opened up everybody's heads. Okay. Those po possibility man. Okay. So those did you fight Mike Tyson? Bare knuckle, street fight, Mike Tyson, million pounds. Are you talking one punch or does it have to be a certain amount of rounds? Well, I mean, it's a fight right, until, until, he finishes, until he finishes. Mm. Wow. Uh, probably not. Only because one punch, he'll probably kill your ass, you know? <laughs> Or somebody like that, you know, will, you know, break your neck. No, I don't think so. Okay. The uh, the next one is, would you, would you push an old lady down the stairs for a million pounds? <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it make any difference how far the steps are? No, I know, this is a principle. There's quite thing. a lot of steps. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she keeps tumbling, right? I mean, she's e not... Ah, ooh, e ah, ah, one and of those. Quiet, she's not, yeah, <laughs> she's not, she's yeah, not going to die. Just, oh, oh. <laughs> she's not going to die. Ooh. She might break a limb. What? Uh, it's, she might break a limb. She's not going to die. She might break a limb. Might. Gosh, that is really a tough one. No, I don't think I would. Okay. I just, I oh, could on, dude. No, I could we, We've had some great answers. We've had, are they, um... Would you sleep with a member of your band for a million no pounds? No fucking way. I've seen these guys, man. There we go. You're going to happen. There were two more bees. Help me out. I've misplaced the old paper. Uh, there is... Uh, would you have breasts for a year? Breast implants for a year for a million pounds. And then you could magically take them away and just... Well, you just going to take them out, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Why not, man? You could fuck around with them for a while and <laughs> for a year, you know, and then give me my cash and boom, you can have them back. Hell yeah. And, uh, I'm man enough to do that. I, I like that. I, sorry, go on. And the last one is uh, would you let one of the Bee Gees uh, guest oh. on, your ne on your next single for a million pounds? Yeah. It's not specifically the Bee Gees. It's, it's that kind of... Um, I mean, we're, we're looking for it with, with the, the rock and metal bands. It's Fred Durst. It's that kind of, where is that line of credibility? Mm. Where, you know, it's like, yeah, it's a million quid, so we'll have this person, this person. You mean like Jimmy Somerville or something? You know yeah, I mean? that's, yeah. 
<laughs> it's like, where's that line? So I guess the question. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big line too. You know, uh, yeah, there's there's certain lines you just you just for all the money you just can't cross. You got the house on one side, and you've just got your fan base on the other. Yeah, you know, you know, probably not. I don't need the money that bad to cross that line, so I'd have to say no. <laughs> you know. <laughs>